Generally, American watches are described by their size. American watches come in different sizes. The two watches that you see on your left here, these two are a size 18. The two on your right here are size 16. Uh, after a while you get to recognize the sizes just by looking at the watches, but there is a way that you measure them to determine what size watch you do have. In order to find out the exact size, you would first need to remove the dial. Under the dial is what's called the pillar plate. The pillar plate is where you take your measurement. This is a tool that you use to measure the movement, and these are sold at most of your watch and clock material houses. Now, here's how you use it. You take and you measure all the way across the pillar plate. So you start at one side and measure all the way to the cross to the other side and you see the number 18. So that tells you that this movement is within a watch that is of an 18 size. Here's another watch. Let's see what size this is. This is a size 12. See where it has the number 12 over on this side, right at the edge? The other one was an 18, which measured all the way out to this point. As you can see, the larger watches start at 18 over here and work their way down to zero, and then you have 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 8, 0, on down until you get to the very, very smaller watches. On Swiss watches, they are measured in what's called lines. On this side you measure the lines, and it's done in the same way, pillar plate to pillar plate across it to measure the number of lines that you have, whether it's a 15, 16, 17, 18 line watch. So they're both measured in the same manner, just two different forms of measurement.